Well, hello, folks. I thought I'd try one of these sexy car cam videos. Sexy car cam. So, yeah, some people I've noticed <laughs> that I follow go out and they film themselves talking in their car. I guess because the maybe the sound is good in the car or they have privacy. They can't do it at home because uh, family or whatever is <laughs> in the way. I don't know why they do it like that, but... I've noticed people do that. So, yeah, I've, I've driven around with my, my Osmo uh, action cam, you know, filming while I'm driving. And that's usually pretty fun. But anyway, I'm, I'm in uh, Vimeo to, to get some things and do some errands. And it's pretty busy here because I think there's a funeral happening. So a lot of people have poured into town. Church is open. Uh, I wanted to touch base because um, I saw this video on YouTube by Owen Jones, who's an independent journalist and commentator from England, uh, who's often on uh, Sky News and sometimes BBC and so on as a guest. He usually wears a t-shirt and he's an eloquent, bright uh, young young journalist um, and he did a rundown of the first day of the trial for genocide in Gaza, Israel perpetrating genocide. And I just want to say that I echo his sentiments 100%. So I encourage people to go and check out that video and see what you think about it. I too can't understand why there isn't more outrage about it, but yeah, there you go. Uh, it doesn't seem like Uncle Sam's ever going to run out of people and places to bomb for righteous reasons, but I must emphasize that Americans aren't the only people who suffer injustice and horrors and so on. So. And now I guess we're going to start bombing the Houthis and maybe we'll be back in the Balkans again soon. So Fareed Zakaria is talking about how great the economy is. Capital gains, capital gains, capital gains. Yeah, if, you, if you're um, enjoying the fruits of capital gains, you're a very fortunate person and I commend you. But most of the people aren't, so it's not going so good for most people, I don't think. But um, they'll be able to, the central bank will be able to create money to uh, produce really cool high-tech weapons that cost a lot of money uh, to uh, threaten and bomb really poor countries, small poor countries around the world, and also to rope uh, other people into dying on the battlefield for the broken rules based order, which is sad. You know, when you think about the cost to Russia and Ukraine, it's tragic that the focus wasn't on peace and diplomacy and working things out, and rather it was based on regime changes and, you know, sending people arms. I just think we should stop that business model altogether but of course we won't because it's so lucrative for some people capital gains capital gains capital gains so yeah watch uh owen jones and see what you think about what he has to say i encourage people to read the documents um, that south africa has put forth in the icj these are historic times on steroids. And whether we like it or not, all of us are going to pay for this one way or another. And um, I think there are things we can do. I've written to representatives and um, leaders and business people for what it's worth. Uh, <laughs> you know, you do what you can. I. You know, you send some money to help people in need over there. It's uh, hard to help people who are being herded into a tiny little 
part of Gaza to be bombed. But there you go. It's like uh, somebody hurt my people. Now I have to destroy all their people. You know, these are kind of, you know, the Hobbesian or even worse than Hobbesian, ancient kind of biblical genocidal behavior where, you know, God gives you the license to murder everybody in another tribe for one reason or another. It's 2024. Oh, God. Anyway, I'll stop now. Have a good day. Oh, church bells. Nice way to go out. Pray for peace. Buliamti, out. <laughs>